Hey, welcome back to our uh, Super Mario Bros. X level editor tutorial series thingamabob. <clears throat> um, yes, today we'll be covering more basics, uh, mainly the blocks and tiles tab. Now, blocks and tiles are pretty self-explanatory, so I don't plan on spending too long on it. But, uh, yeah, let's just dive right into it. So, um, yeah, like I said, this is pretty self-explanatory, you know. You can pick a game that, uh, has the tiles that you'd like to use. So say I want to use Super Mario Bros. 3, The Grass. Well, I can click on the Grass tab right here under Super Mario Bros. 3. And that brings up, um, some, uh, grass tiles, as, um, as was pretty, uh, obvious, you know. Speaking is pretty hard. Anyways, yeah, so I can just click on the one that I want to use and then just place it down in the level. And, um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much uh, pretty much the basic elements uh, of blocks and tiles. But there are some other things that, uh, that you can do with this as well. Now, among the other things that you can do with this is um, if you see these three... Uh, uh, options right here you then you aren't blind and um yeah so if I check this invisible thing or if I change it to yes I should say and then I place these tiles down in a level as you can see they're flashing and that means that in game they will appear invisible um and yeah that's that's pretty cool like I guess and then the same thing goes for slippery so I'll just turn invisible off so if I want these tiles that I place to be slippery, all I have to do is place those tiles, and then, you know, they'll be slippery. Um, yeah, so the, there's, there's those two options. I don't know why I brought up the events thing, because we won't be covering that for, you know, a little while until I get into the more advanced stuff. Now the next thing I'd like to cover is these, uh, sizable blocks. Now, you, oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Okay, when when you click on, like, say this block, this is this is what you should get. You know, it's a nice block. I, I can just put those right there. I mean, I'm gonna put these right there so that that doesn't look cut off. I mean, I don't I don't want to be embarrassed or anything. But uh, yeah. Anyways, so you know, I can just put those there. That's all nice and dandy. But what if I want my block to be bigger? I mean, they are called sizable after all. But what do I do about that? Well, you're in luck because there's a block size, uh, there's a block size thingy, dingy, I'm pretty good at, at, at speaking, over here, where, like, say I want my block to be longer. Well, I just can just press this arrow a few times and, whoa, it's, it's, it's just longer. Yeah, and I can also make it uh, taller by pressing the down arrow. Pressing the up arrow will make it shorter, and pressing the left arrow will make it uh, less lengthy. And I'll just put that right there, because it makes me feel special or something when that's right there. And yeah, that, that applies to all the other um, sizable blocks. You just do the same thing. Okay, the next thing I'd like to cover, as you can see I made a little square here, is this fill option over here. Now, what this fill option does is wherever you click, it fills that area with with a certain block. So if I were to click out here, then it would fill this whole entire area with wood blocks. No, I don't want that. That I wouldn't suggest that if you want to make a half decent level. But you know, so so there they yeah, are. That's that's the fill option for you. Now the possibly final thing I'd like to cover in this video, unless unless I'm forgetting something, is are these uh, special blocks. Now they have these in Super Mario Bros. 3 if you just go to the special tab. They also have these in uh, Super Mario World. Uh, so say I want the Super Mario World question block right here. You know, I have it selected. It's all nice and awesome. As you can see right here, as indicated by this block contents uh, part right here, it says that my block has one coins in it. Oh, well, I want to put this block with one coins in it right there. Because that'll just, that'll just enhance this level a whole lot. And then, um, well, you know what? I, I want to have something other than one coin in my block. Like, what if I want two coins in my block? Well, never fear. Like, literally, never ever fear in your entire life. Anyways, yes, you, uh, if you move this slider left or right, 
then uh, you can change the block contents. Now there is a fairly vast amount of things you can have in your block. You know, I could have a shy guy in this block if I wanted to. Um, and yeah, there are even some things you can put in your block that make absolutely no sense whatsoever. But yeah, I, I want I want two coins in this block. And um, yeah, they also have these uh, handy shortcuts right here in case you don't want to go through this whole thing and look for what you want. You can have a link in your block if you want, although he acts a bit glitchy. Um, hello, Skype. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah, that, that's that's really all I wanted to cover in this video. Well, I guess I could cover one last thing. This this selection option. If I click on selection, then basically what this does is it lets me move a block around. So it's like, man, I don't want this block there. No. Oh. Well, that window came kind of inconveniently. But yeah, so as you can see, I clicked on that block, and now I'm carrying it around, and I can put it right there instead. Oh, ho, oh, oh. Yeah, the last thing I guess I could cover is this eraser tool. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just uh, run it over blocks. You can either click on them or click and drag, and it uh, erases them, as as I'm sure you could have guessed. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's really all I wanted to cover in this video. Oh yeah, look at this professional level right here. Yeah, look what happens if I collect Link. It's like, it's like, hey Link, can, can, can I sniff your butt? Whoa, I'm all big now. Yeah, he, he doesn't he doesn't act quite right. Um, and yes, as you can see, all these other boxes work just fine. And this is slippery, and, and I fell in a hole. So if something's invisible, then you have to hit it from the bottom before it comes visible. Just, just a quick FYI for you. Um, and yeah, so, so, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching, I hope that this was helpful in some way, although most of the stuff I covered was pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, um, thanks for watching, next time I'll cover who knows what, and uh, yeah, see you guys later.